Okay, so I have a 1080, 1080 pixels template loaded on my screen. Now I want to go and change my background color. I have chosen the color black, and now I want to go and get some silver confetti. So you just go over here to elements and type in silver confetti. This is the um, silver that I want to use. I don't want to keep as is. So what I want to do is go over here to edit photo, and I'm going to take the brightness all the way up. Once you go to edit photo, go over here to under adjust, and then scroll down, turn go to brightness, and I'm going to take it all the way up to 100, just like that. Now with this, I don't want like, I don't want it like this. So what I'm going to do is just put it halfway and then make another copy and take that copy and put it on the right side, just like that. And then I can group it together, make another copy, take that copy, put it down here. So I have it at the top and the bottom. Here is my model that I want to use. And I'm just going to basically position her in the middle, size her up. And, and I'm going to actually show you how to get rid of that harsh line right there. So I think this size right here will be good enough. If not, we'll change it later. Okay, so to get rid of this harsh line, what you want to do is go over here to elements and type in. I typed in transparent gradient. Now I'm going to go to under graphics and click on see all. And once I click on see all, I'm going to scroll down and see it until I see this teal blue one right there. And then with this, it gives you um, two options for the colors. To change it to, but I'm gonna just have one color that I want to put this on. So, you as you can see now, it's like a blue and a white, but I'm just changing them both to the color black. So, as you can see, I have changed it to the color black, and as you can see, there's the harsh line. So, once you take that transparent gradient and move it up just like that, it kind of like somewhat disappear and if you want to make another copy to like actually get rid of it you can just do it like that and voila it's gone but I don't want it too too dark so because I'm have some um some letters or words covering it up also but that does look better so now I want to actually go and get it's a dollar bill 100 dollar bill and you can just go to elements and just type in so here is the hundred dollar bill that I want to use and what I'm going to do is basically just position it behind her so I'm going to go to position and I'm click on to the back. And as you can see, that line is showing up. So what I'm going to do is just take it up a tad bit. You can make this bigger or smaller. I think this right here is good enough. And if you want to rotate it some, you can. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it like that. But I also want to like make another copy and make it smaller. Like this. Also like play around with it. And then I'm gonna make another copy and probably like just put this one down here. But like I said, just keep playing around with it until you can get it however you would like. Here's my silver balloon, and here is my pink balloon that I want to use. Now I'm just going to let me move this one out of the way, and I just want to go ahead and position because it's going to be more silver <clears throat> than pink on this flyer design. So yeah. It's just going to be like a hint of pink, but more so a silver thing. And then I'm going to make a copy of this. And then with this balloon, I'm going to also make it smaller. So I'm going to just make it smaller, but I'm going to like position, like bring it up some. Because, like I said, I just want like a hint of pink on this flyer. And when I say a hint of pink, it meaning there it won't be too much pink up here. So yeah, what I'm doing here now is just basically flipping the balloons since I already had grouped them. And now I can just go ahead and position it to the back. Here is my champagne bottle that I want to use, and of course I'm going to make it smaller. And just put it down here. Bring it a tad bit more smaller. And if I don't like it, I can always go back and change it. Okay. So let me make another copy and just.
um so yeah that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed it and i hope y'all learned something go ahead and hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're new here share this video with your family your friends all over your social media and please go and check out the last video i posted and thank you again god bless you